Hey everyone, Kitana here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video. And in today's video, we are talking about the second house. And more importantly, what your second house planets say about you. And by the end of this video, we're gonna see what the second house represents and what it means and how it manifests in your life when you have planets sitting in that house in your natal chart. Okay, so when it comes to the second house, the core essence of it, the core theme of it has to do with support. And more specifically the things in life that support us hence why this house has a lot to do with money it has to do with possessions it deals with family as well and those are the things that really support us in life metaphorically and literally and when you have certain planets in your second house it can manifest and really show you how you are supported in life if you're supported or not how you support yourself for example it shows you the kind of family you could have grown up in it can also show you how you make money in this life and how you treat your possessions. And of course, the planets that you have in the second house can affect your voice and your speech patterns as well. And here are the planets in each of the houses. I'll talk about mostly what this means for your possessions, your money, how you'll make money, and your speech slash voice. But when it comes to the family part, the support part, I will leave that for Patreon. So I'll get into more like your early childhood development and like what your family life is like based on your second house energy on Patreon. And right now we'll just talk about finances, possessions, and voice. And as always, if you don't know what planets sit in what house is in your chart, I will leave the link down below so you guys can calculate that. This video can also apply to any chart you look at. So if you're looking at your Western chart, your Vedic chart, whole sign chart, or Placidus chart, this information can apply to it. If you have your son sitting in the second house, you can be somebody that is rooted in your values, somebody who is family oriented, for example. But when it comes to money specifically, which is the main topic here of the second house, you can be somebody who earns money through leadership you earn money through self-initiated endeavors this can be a placement where you earn money through teaching for example earn money when you do something with your voice this can be a placement where you can be someone who is very respected authoritative a natural leader and you can make money through those leadership positions if you want to start your own business that's also another avenue with this placement and when it comes to naturally how you operate with sun in the second house, you can be very focused on attaining money, focused on attaining possessions. You can be someone who finds a lot of identity in how much wealth you have or status. There can be a huge focus for you on money, status, and possessions. And for the fun part, when it comes to your voice, you can be somebody with a very authoritative voice, a strong voice, uh, maybe even a very masculine voice. Even if you're a woman, and this could give a deep voice as well. If you have your moon sitting in the second house, this means that you could be someone who ties your emotional well-being to your financial security. And there could be a strong link there of how much money you make, how much possessions you have, how much wealth you have, and how you feel emotionally. You can put a lot of emotional energy into your wealth and have this strong mental focus on security. When it comes to income and how you make money, you can make money through ways that deal with emotional satisfaction, doing things that really satisfy you on an emotional level. And in terms of your finances, literally, you might find that your finances oscillate a little bit where they can be high at one moment, low at one moment. There's a very changeable energy here with the moon being in your second house where your finances might not be terribly consistent. And for the fun part, when it comes to your voice, you can have a very soft voice, a whispery voice, or a naturally quiet voice. If you have Mercury in your second house, you can be somebody who is naturally very intelligent, and you might naturally have a lot of business skills, business acumen, being good at negotiating, for example. But when it comes to how you make money in life, you can be somebody who makes money through using your intellect, using your communication skills, using your skills of persuasion. You can be somebody who uses those kind of skills to actually make money. And you might have a natural talent with words and having the ability to persuade people with your words. 
And when it comes to your literal voice, you might find that you have a high-pitched voice or a voice that is oscillating a little bit where it goes up and down, maybe it cracks a lot, but in general, it can give a high-pitched voice. If you have Venus sitting in your second house, this could mean that you're somebody really focused on material wealth, material possessions, and this especially gives someone focused on spending money or collecting things that are related to beauty, luxury, um, this can give you or can make someone be a little bit materialistic, hedonistic, where you spend money on luxuries. And other than that, this can be considered a wealth placement in astrology where you do attract wealth easily. You make a lot of money. This is a really great placement for Venus to be. And when it comes to how you gain money in life, you might find that you gain money through artistic endeavors, through creative endeavors, and you can even gain money through a partner. When it comes to your voice with Venus in the second, you can have a very pleasant voice. This can create a melodic voice, a voice that is very smooth, and you also might have a naturally great singing voice as well. If you have Mars sitting in your second house, this could mean that you're somebody who is a naturally hard worker, somebody who is very possessive over your money, over your wealth. And when it comes to making money, when it comes to how you generate income, you can make money through your own efforts, through working hard, through taking initiative on things. And you also might make money through taking risks where you make money through speculative gain through investments when you're risking things you might make money that way and when it comes to your voice with mars in the second you can have a voice that is naturally raspy a voice that is very strong maybe a voice that can be a little bit aggressive even and this can generally just give a strong voice overall and if you have jupiter in your second house this means that when it comes to wealth and possessions you might have a lot of it this energy tends to expand jupiter tends to expand things and you can have luck with gaining money luck when it comes to gaining wealth expanding your wealth and this can also indicate coming from wealth as well like coming from a wealthy family where you had your wealth kind of set up for you when you were born and this can also create a little bit of overindulgence spending a lot of money even though you'll probably make a lot of money in your life you might overspend a little bit be overindulgent for example and when it comes to your voice you can be somebody with a cheerful voice a happy voice a confident voice somebody who makes a lot of jokes or laughs a lot and you might have a very big voice as well and if you have saturn sitting in your second house when it comes to wealth and possessions and money you could be somebody who gains wealth slowly over time this is a placement where you could have grown up in a situation where you didn't have those things and then slowly over time you do gain wealth you do gain money and you gain it through effort through patience and through diligence saturn does cause delays so that can happen with this Saturn placement in the second house of wealth. And when it comes to how you handle money, you can be someone who is frugal and you might save a lot of your money. You might store a lot of your money away and not touch it. You can have this tendency to really hold on to your possessions for a long time and really keep a tight grip on what you do own. And when it comes to your voice, you can find that you have a naturally deep voice, a raspy voice, even a monotone voice. And this placement can also give a struggle with speech as well, or maybe early in your life you struggled with speech. Or you can have trouble getting certain words out, maybe you stutter. There is that kind of possibility when you have Saturn sitting in your second house and how it affects your literal voice. And if you have Pluto sitting in your second house, when it comes to wealth and possessions, you might find that you go through extremes with your money. You go through extreme highs or extreme lows or extreme gains, extreme losses. And the way you gain money or the way you can handle money is that you're very obsessive over it or you gain money when you're really uh, focused on it, extreme focus, and you can be someone who is possessive with your finances, possessive with your money, possessive with your possessions. And when it comes to Pluto being in your second house, affecting your voice, you can be someone with a very deep voice naturally. And if you have Neptune sitting in your second house, you might find that when it comes to wealth, possessions, and money, you can be someone who experiences loss with money or the way you handle money can deal with this theme of lack of boundaries where you spend a lot of money, lose a lot of money, or you make a lot of money. And there's that kind of disconnect uh, with structure and your finances. And 
the way you make money literally might have to do with creative endeavors, endeavors that deal with spirituality, uh, making money through kind of secretive ways, ways that are kind of elusive. And when it comes to your literal voice, you can be someone who has a quiet voice, maybe even a whispery sort of voice. If you have Uranus sitting in the second house, when it comes to wealth, possessions, and money, you might find that your wealth or the money you make is a little bit unstable. It is a little bit erratic or chaotic. It might not be as consistent as it could be with other planets sitting in this house, and the way you gain money can be through the internet. This is a placement where you can make money online, you can make money through online endeavors. That is really strong here. And when it comes to your vocal tone or your voice, literally, you might find that you have a wide vocal range where you can change your voice really drastically, or you can have a high-pitched voice overall. If you have the North Node sitting in your second house, this could mean that when it comes to money and finances, you can have somewhat of an obsession with that or be very focused on that, especially in a materialistic way. This can cause you to overspend a bit or just have more erratic spending habits. And when it comes to your wealth and how you earn money, you can earn money in ways that are a bit more unconventional, maybe through the internet, maybe you earn money in foreign lands or through foreign endeavors. And you also might be skilled at language too. So maybe you earn money through teaching a language, for example. But when it comes to your money and how you earn it, um, it can be a little bit more unstable. It can be extreme highs, extreme lows. There can be that inconsistency there. And when it comes to your voice, you might have a voice that is very hypnotic or people listen when you talk. You have a strong voice. People can feel very gravitated to your voice almost unconsciously. And your voice can be kind of fast paced where you talk really fast or kind of erratically. And you guys can tell me down below how your voice might sound with this placement, but as I can imagine, it can relate to the traits we just described. And if you have the South Node, aka Ketu, sitting in your second house, this can mean that when it comes to money, wealth, and possessions, you have an apathetic attitude towards that. And maybe you want to make a lot of money and create money and wealth for yourself, but you can have a certain indifference to it. And when it comes to spending money and how you make money, you might find that you overspend money or you spend money in a way that isn't very very controlled and money for you can come in its ups and its downs where it's extremely high extremely low it can have that inconsistent pattern with your income and when it comes to how you literally make money you might make money through using your voice through teaching through speaking anything to do with that and you also might make money through spiritual endeavors as well and when it comes to your literal voice, you might have a voice that is very enticing to people. People naturally listen to you. It can have a deepness to it. And it can also create strange speech patterns where your voice sounds a little bit strange or it's kind of inconsistent, but it can create that theme of strangeness with your voice. And irregardless, people do really find it very enticing and people naturally very much listen to you because of this. And when it comes to how you were raised and your early childhood life, the second house planets really affect that. And so I didn't mention what that means in this video, but I go deeper into it on Patreon. So if you want to know more about that and how this second house energy affects your growing up, then that link will be down below. And comment down below what planets you have in the second house. And I'll see you guys in my next video.